Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we will be talking about the problem medium problem called sort list its index is 148 and it is the daily problem of the lead code for the month of February day 24 okay. so yeah this problem is totally related to the concepts of linked list and like sorting algorithms like if you are aware about the merge sort technique then you can solve this problem efficiently yeah you can also use uh, other sorting algorithms called quick sort or yeah maybe insertion sort also but yeah for this problem the best way to do that is uh, you're going to use merge sort technique it would uh, help us to do this problem in o of n log n time complexity and in the best case you can have a o of one space complexity okay so i will deal all those in this video so let's begin so given the head of a linked list and return the list after sorting it in ascending order okay so we need to use some sorting algorithms to perform this operation so we would be using merge sort okay so merge sort on an array is quite simple so yeah but here we are going to use a linked list uh, that would also help us to like you you can have a open space complexity if you use the uh, pointers of linked list carefully to adjust the nodes so that the nodes values are in ascending order okay so i will deal all those now so let's head over to the constraints first so the number of nodes in the list is in the range you can see at max is 5 into 10 raised to the power 4 it also suggests that we are going to use a o of n log n time complexity to do this problem yeah and also there's a follow-up can we do it in o of 1 memory constant space here yeah, we can do that so let's discuss this problem with this example okay so let's begin so suppose we have the nodes like this one 4 uh, this 2 and this and then we have 1 and then we have 3 okay so uh, uh, this is the like unsorted linked list let me write down over here unsorted linked list and we need to sort this linked list according to their values so you can see the sorted linked list would be like that 1 2 followed by 3 and then followed by 4 okay so one thing also you you're not going to swap the values of the nodes you're going to swap the nodes address and their positions okay so that is 1 will come will become the head the nodes address will become the head followed by like its next pointer will be pointing to the node with value 2 okay so this will come over here and again 3 will come over here and 4 will come to this to this position so how we are going to do that efficiently so uh, in the in an array when we are using a merge sort so what will happen is like we will divide the arrays repeatedly in two parts so let me write down over here we are going to use the concept of merge sort so what merge sort says is like suppose we have this linked list so we will divide this linked list into two parts like over this position so yeah and again when this list is divided into two parts we are going to perform the merge sort operation again over these uh, divided parts okay and when uh, we are done with this one like suppose after some repeated uh, repetition call of this merge sort function we have the linked list as a sorted over here is like 2 4 and for this right part we have a sorted linked list as 1 3 okay now we need to merge this linked list into a single linked list okay note that we are here calling a function called merge so what it will do is like it will merge these two sorted linked list into a single linked list uh, it is quite similar to the concept of arrays we have two sorted arrays and we need to merge them into a single sorted array containing the same values as in the both of the arrays right so we need to merge this linked list so it will become one followed by two followed by three and followed by four okay so yeah so uh, in that case what you are going to do is you need to find out the middle node right middle node 
in the con like when we uh, divide this an array or a linked list into two parts the very key point is like we need to know uh, the middle index in an array or the middle node in a linked list okay so how to find that middle node so when you are traversing this linked list note that uh, when we traverse the linked list we are always traversing from the head of the linked list so in the worst case when we iterate uh, in a brute force manner like in a linear time complexity to find out the middle node you can see it will take a o of n time complexity to find out the middle node okay so we can also improve that o of n time complexity to o of log n time complexity to find out the middle node let me write down uh, o of log n complexity to find middle node okay so first let's understand how we are going to find out this middle node efficiently okay so it is quite simple we need to uh, use the concept of slow pointer and fast pointer suppose we have this link list let's say containing four nodes okay so what we are going to do is we are going to place a slow pointer over here and a fast pointer also over here and each time slow pointer moves by one position and fast pointer moves by two positions okay so in the next case slow pointer will come over here but fast pointer would come over here so in the next uh, step slow pointer would be over here and fast pointer would be over here so let me denote it by slow one and fast one okay now again slow pointer will move by one position and fast pointer will move by two position so you can see the next position of the slow pointer and fast pointer would be slow two and fast two would be out of this linked list denoting the null pointer this so we are, uh, we are going to stop it over here because we cannot move further we cannot step both slow pointer and fast pointer by their next positions okay so this will be a uh, middle of this linked list note that here it is uh, the length of the linked list is even so we uh, not we are not having a uniform number of nodes to the left and to the right of it okay so we can have this middle of the node so what about when the linked list is uh, odd uh, containing the number of nodes as an odd number you can see uh, initially slow pointer will be over here and fast pointer will be over here and in the next step slow pointer will come out to be over here and fast pointer will be over here and in the next step slow pointer will be over here and fast pointer will be over here and we are done we cannot move fast pointer by the two steps to the next over it so we are done so this is the middle node so finding a middle node uh, with this concept will take a o of log n time complexity because you know fast pointer will always move by two step forwards and yeah in in the worst case it will take a logarithmic time complexity okay so yeah so this is the idea to find out the middle node and when we have uh, done with the middle node then we can divide this linked list into two parts so what i am going to do is like suppose this mid is going to denote the middle node okay so this mid is the middle node so we will again call this merge sort function merge sort what is the left uh, left bound of this linked list so the left bound of this linked list would be uh, like left part of this linked list is the head one so i will denote it by head and again the right part of this linked list would be uh, the right part that would be mid next so when we call this merge sort function for the left part and the right part we would be having this uh, yeah and one more thing i could add is like we, we i could add the merge function over this left part and over this right part when we add this merge function it will actually merge the two sorted arrays merge two sorted arrays if we are able to merge these two sorted arrays then we are done then then we finally we would be having some linked list in a sorted form so okay so let's look out for the code how we can implement this in efficiently so
so yeah it would uh, in the best case it could have a time complexity of n log n and we are having the space complexity as o of 1 okay so yeah so we can start over this uh, given in build function sort list and we are going to call this merge sort function or uh, passing the parameter as the head okay so uh, obviously we'll be having two functions called merge and this is called merge sort right okay so let's first write down the base case let me first zoom it out here so we are having this base case add if head is a null pointer or heads next is a null pointer so basically if heads next is a null pointer it will denote the size of this linked list as 1 and if head is a null pointer the size of the linked list is uh, like we are uh, having an empty linked list okay so let's write down a base case for the length 2 we can we are going to have this suppose if uh, heads next is an yeah so if the length of the linked list is 2 we are going to write down heads next and next will be a null pointer okay so in that case we are having uh, we would be swapping the values of this uh, two size linked list if we are able to uh, make them in ascending order then we are done so this if part we are uh, we are doing the same thing we can observe it over here if heads next next its uh, value is going to be strictly less than the first node's value then we are going to swap this one okay now the rest of the criteria is quite simple so we will assign a slow pointer as well as the fast pointer to the beginning of the link list okay so if fast pointer is a null pointer and fast next pointer is also a null pointer then we will increment this slow pointer by one step and fast pointer by two steps okay so yeah and uh, when we are done this with this one we are going to have this uh, middle of the node is stored in this slow pointer so what we are going to do in the next part is like we will call the merge sort function for the rest of the linked list so yeah you can see i am passing the parameter as slows next and uh, we will assign the slows next as null pointer when we are done with this calling part of the second uh, merge sort function and again when we are done with this one we will assign slows next as null pointer because the we need to call for the left part also so again, now we are calling for the left part you can see uh, i will just pass the pointer as head right and uh, now we are we need to focus it upon how we can merge these two sorted linked lists okay so let's look out for the merge function so if l is a null pointer and r is a null pointer we will just check out their values at the corresponding nodes else value and r's value so else next is going to call this merge function you can see uh, suppose we are having the values let's say 2 let me just change out the color 2 uh, then 1 let's say 2 and 4 and another linked list is going to have the values called 1 and 2 so it will first compare this value 2 with the value 1 so you can see value 1 is going to be smaller than the value 2 so yeah, it would uh, merge the next pointer you can see else next with this r and this uh, uh, this merge function will return a node's address and it will be stored in else next and then we will return this l pointer and if this will not happen then we can have a r's next pointing to this merge part of this l and r next that is it will be moving to the next uh, node's address of this r okay and suppose in, if there exists a case if both l pointer and r pointer is both null then we will return uh, like uh, any one of the l or r is a null pointer then we'll return we will check it out this condition if l is null pointer then we will return r otherwise return l so this will give you all test cases passed right so if you guys have still any doubts you can reach out to us in the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video